Hi, everybody. I hope all is well. And if it isn't well, we serve God. So all will be well, even truly. Amen, somebody. So the Lord had given me a prophetic word to release to the women who are in my God ordained kingdom marriage group while we were in, while we were in prayer. And I released the word and um, how God deals with me as far as messages are concerned. He'll give me a word and um, he'll give it to me over and over and over until I release it. And then it'll be gone and it'll be out of my head. But I, I wasn't done because he let me to release it for um, you ladies over here as well. Before I get into the message very quickly, let me explain to you all about my God ordained kingdom marriage group. My God ordained group is for single and saved Christian women who serve God in spirit and in truth, right? And it is essentially a kingdom spouse group for those of you who know who your kingdom spouse is and for those of you who do not know who your kingdom spouse is. It is a support group, okay? We pray in this group. We fast in this group. We love on each other in this group. When one is, you know, a little down, we lift that person up. When someone needs prayer, we pray together. When someone needs some encouragement, we are there for each other. When someone is just feeling a little doubtful, dealing with all of this God-ordained spouse stuff, we help each other. We are there for one another. That's what the group is all about, okay? But we do that while serving the Lord thy God, okay? There is no profanity in the group. There is no no obscenities in the group. There is anything negative in the group. There is no witchcraft allowed in the group. There is no angel numbers and, you know, all of these things that are outside of the, the will of God. That's not. It's not allowed into this group. That's not what this group is about, okay? So if you are looking for a true support system, if, especially if you're looking to walk straight and actually really follow God, and this is the right group for you. But before you join my group, please take it to God and bring ask God. Say, hey, is it okay if I join Shalina's group? Is this group the right group for me? And if God says no, then that's just that. If you feel it's not for you, then it's not for you, okay? I just had to put that out there and make it very clear because a lot of people are confused when they see God ordained kingdom marriage. The reason why it's named that is because a lot of tarot readers are now taking over the word kingdom spouse. So I, we have to be done with that because now they are using it and I, I just want to separate myself from it as much as possible, okay? Now let's get into the message. So the word that God had led me to release to my sisters last night was just basically about womb cleansing womb cleansing he kept repeating it to me over and over and over while we were down in prayer and i was like okay lord i hear you let's speak about this if god has been leading you to clean cleanse your womb this message is for you he gave me a few different messages regarding the womb cleanse so it's going to be for different different groups of people different groups of women so the first group if you have ever suffered from bv and yeast infections specifically yeast infections god kept highlighting yeast infections to me over and over last night so if you have been dealing with yeast infections there's too much sugar in your diet you need to cleanse your diet you need to go on a detox get you some garlic some lemon some kanye pepper and some hot water even some coconut oil you as well as some vinegar some apple cider vinegar you need to detox the body, okay? You can either take some vinegar and soak in a bath. That'll cleanse the outside of it as well as coconut oil. You can rub coconut oil on the outside. That's if you have some vulva itching. Um, you can take apple cider vinegar as well as hot water and pour it on the outside of your vulva. And that'll help with the itchiness down there. And as far as the inside, you can drink um, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in a lot, um, eight ounces of water, hot water along with some lemon and some garlic and that'll help what's going on on the inside as well okay so if you've been struggling with yeast you need to detox your body immediately okay you need to detox the body stop eating all of that sugar take that sugar out your diet okay especially things that are high in sugar if you like to eat candies cakes and ice creams sodas all of that stuff can cont contribute to yeast infections okay so if you've been struggling with BV, yeast, like a, if you've been having the combo and you don't know what to do, oregano, chlorophyll, um, fresh garlic, you can even take garlic supplements. That will help you for sure. Um, lemon is good for this. Lemon water, apple cider vinegar, excellent yogurt, things along those lines, you know. But just focus on eating things that nourish and supply the body properly. So this junk food and all of this stuff. This is why God is calling us to cleanse our wombs and to prepare our bodies. You know, not only for our husbands and stuff. Not only for to us to have children. But just, you know, the womb is a powerful place. and It's up to, we need to keep it clean and protected. Okay, so if you've been struggling, having a little pain down there. Things just been going on. You need to detox your womb. 
your womb and you need to detox in general okay so if you're a heavy sugar eater you love you some sugar and you wondering why you battling with the you got to clean it up okay that's it that's the message oh also if you are a heavy coffee drinker you need to switch from coffee into tea get rid of the coffee especially if you like your coffee really sugary it's not doing your body any good switch to green um green tea raspberry leaf tea chamomile tea peppermint tea switch to tea okay i know that's tough I, I understand i love me a good ice cold latte in the morning too with three sugars and a little bit of foam on top and a little bit of cinnamon i understand but we got to be done with that we need to switch to all natural things right like teas teas are way better better with teas are way better for the body anyway they're herb. you know it's just it's just way better for the body okay the lord also highlighted this to me um while we were in prayer last night your children um women with your children please prepare your children to receive your husbands as well you're you're not the only one who is about to receive someone brand new into your life your children is about to receive a new father you have to prepare your children okay you know some children are going to be ecstatic that you got you finally got a man right so they're gonna love that oh i got a daddy yay they're gonna be excited but then you're gonna have those children who are really clingy to you and don't play about their mama that's really gonna be sad i didn't do like oh, who this i, I ain't next for that who is you? so you have to prepare them remember this journey to your husbands it's not only about you especially if you have children involved it is not only about you okay the unions that God is bringing together, especially if you have children, are not only about you and your future husband. It's about you, all of you guys as a whole, especially if you have children. It's about all of you coming together and blending and serving God in perfect peace. Amen, somebody? So please prepare your children. Do not leave them out of this process, okay? And that is it. That is all. That is the messages that God gave me. That's some of the messages that God gave me. Um, he just, the, I'm just giving you guys the ones that he told me to share with you all um so yeah if you've been um feeling led to cleanse your wombs um if you trying to prepare for children um uh, if you just want to be fresh and clean for yourself and your future husband that's nice too who doesn't love that <laughs> um you know and this god has just really been leading you to detox maybe to eat better you know work on your overall health um things along those lines so yeah okay so i hope y'all received this message i love y'all god bless y'all also another thing if you have any tips on any medicinal herbs or any medicinal treatments that um the ladies can use to treat their wombs to cleanse their wombs please leave it in the comment section thank you god bless y'all